All right, good day, hi, and welcome. I got my uh, 35 millimeter Pentex here. It's it's broken, but uh, I'll see if I can get it fixed. Uh, today, I want to talk about ISO. Okay, uh, what is ISO? Well, ISO basically <sighs> international uh, standards operations or something like that. It was something along that lines, but it wasn't in the. There was no institution that was named that. Uh, but there was an, an institution named the uh, International Operations Standards or something. And so it's like, how did it get to ISO? Well, because the way they converted their anagram, um, what they did is, because they knew it would be used in several different languages, what they did is they took the Greek word ISO, uh, I-S-O-S, which meant equal, and they just dropped the S off of it. And basically, that's what ISO stands for. So it doesn't really stand for anything. But it, the standards were set by it. And what ISO is referring to is basically the intensity of light to your camera and how it responds to it. So on this camera, we can see I have the ISO setting down here to 200. Now, if I want, I can... Hang on. I'll set it up. Now I set it to 400. Now I will be doing digital shooting, and this one goes all the way up, I think, to 16, 800. Hang on. Uh, yeah. So and this one, go, this camera goes up to 1600. So hopefully you guys can see that well. Now, what the rule of thumb is is when you're shooting. If you're shooting indoors, you're going to use uh, higher ISO numbers than you, you will outside. So let's say you're out on a sunny day. Okay, and you're going to go with ISO maybe, well, if you're using a film camera, it, it might be different, but we'll get into that whenever I get this thing fixed and, and whatever. But let's say it's a really bright sunny day. You'd probably set to ISO, say, 100 or 200 or whatever it's going to be. Uh, this one goes down to 20, 12. This goes down to 12 ISO. You might, you might be taking pictures of the sun <laughs> for that one. So that's pretty dark. That's, that'll be a very dark, sharp photo with very little noise in it. We'll be talking about noise, and you'll see it in the photos anyway. But the idea is that, is that uh, when you're taking the pictures, okay, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Uh, when you're taking your pictures, you're going to use the ISO to either brighten the background or whatever, and it's easier to show you than to talk, uh, talk about it. So what I'll do is I'll take a bunch of photos with my digital camera, and then I'll upload them, and you can see for yourself exactly what ISO does. And then you can get an idea of when you'll use it. So that, and practice makes perfect. So anyway, we'll have a look. Okay, here we are at 200 ISO, so it's going to be subtle at first. We're about to go to 400 right now. So it's still pretty subtle, but what I want to look for is where it gets noisy in the dark spots. Now we're going to go to 800. So again, a little bit brighter, but it doesn't really stand out yet. Now we're going to go to 1,000. Okay, so it's still, but you can start to notice it's getting a bit grainier. Now we're going to go to 1,600. And now you can see the background is really brightened up. And now we're going to go to, on my camera, what's known as high 1 which now we see it really grainy, but the photo is very bright, and high 2, which again, you probably wouldn't use the, here comes high 2, uh, which is extremely grainy, and uh, you probably wouldn't use these settings unless you really, really had to uh, in low, low light. So that, that kind of explains it for you. So usually, uh, rule of thumb, if you're shooting outdoors, uh, 200 or lower, if it's a bright sunny day, if it's a bit overcast, 200 is kind of the happy medium. Um, if you're going to be shooting indoors 400 is 400 to 800 is kind of standard uh, but you might not notice it when you take the photos but as you blow the photos up that's when you're going to notice the higher ISOs allowing in a little bit more noise uh, that noise is that fuzzy fuzzy looking uh, and this happens with either a film camera or a digital camera uh, so the higher the ISO the more noise you let in the less saturated the colors are uh, and also the less contrast the colors are. So you get less contrast between light and dark. Uh, so where it's, you know, you're, you know, you're white balancing between black and white. So, for example, uh, if you go over these photos, I'll, I'll do another sequence as I'm talking right now after that, the, the sequence where it'll show you uh, the, the, the extremes from like, say, 200 ISO to 16. 
and then maybe 400 ISO to high one and 800 to high two. And I'll do that as, you know, as I'm talking so that you could see and you can go back, take your time, look at the photos, and then it'll give you an idea of when to choose uh, different settings. Because sometimes, like for example, yes, indoors, if you shoot on 200 ISO or 100 ISO, you will have a very sharp, crisp picture with probably z almost no noise into it. And when you blow the photo up, it'll be fine. But the photo will be so contrasty and dark that it, you know, it, it makes it almost look artificial sometimes. So it depends how you want. And sometimes you want the colors to pop. Sometimes you don't. So you can do little effects with this. Obviously, the better the light, uh, the quicker the shutter speed. That can take down some of the noise. Uh, it's kind of a, like anything with cameras. It's always about trade-offs. So hopefully this helps you out a bit. But yeah, go over the photos a few times. You know, look at one. At 400, uh, 200, 400, 800, uh, 1000, 1600, high one and high two. And your camera, there are cameras out there that go even like to you know 64,000 ISO or whatever, 20,000 ISO. It's it, it's insane what they go to. Uh, but these are usually extremely uh, large uh, full frame pic uh, uh, cameras and stuff like that, uh, taking on extremely large uh, settings. So there we go. Uh, I'll leave it at that.